Geminis, welcome to Ascending Spiritually. My name is Dee. This is going to be for September 10th through the 15th. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so if you want something more tailored to your own situation, that link is in the description box below. That will take you to my website where you can go ahead and book your own reading. So let us see what are the energies that are going to affect you. Four of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. The Emperor, Five of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands, the Sun card, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so off the bat, we either have four people here involved in this situation. It could be anywhere between you know, two different males or three different males and a female, or there might even be a child involved. But in this scenario, someone here has a lot of options or there's just a lot of hands in this um, equation. And with the four of pentacles, you're holding back, holding back from people, situations, trying to save money, holding back your energy. You could have been retracting some type of offer from this king of wands because you were dealing with someone that um, at this time they can't be trusted because they're up to no good. The king of wands is usually a fire sign or they don't have to be a fire sign. They could just have a lot of fire in their chart. This person is a go-getter. They're very driven. Um, they could be a leader, entrepreneur, that type of energy. Because with the emperor, you were trying to take control um, of the situation. Or you're trying to do so now by retracting your offer, retracting your messages, your gift. Because something here was offered. But I feel like someone here, the king of wands, didn't have any good intentions. Um, they may have had other people involved in your scenario, whether it's a relationship. This is just involving, you know, family members on the outside or friends in their ear, you know, giving them bad advice. But something here happened that's very regretful. It could have been the end of a cycle, the end of a relationship. But there was a foundation here in the past that now has crumbled down. You are in the energy of sadness, regret, remorse, reevaluation, because something didn't go the way that you expected, you know, despite investing a lot of time into it um, and it mostly had to do with some father figure or a king of pentacles that kind of just stepped in and was a puppeteer or a puppet master in this scenario i feel like there were so many hands involved in your scenario that you may not have even been aware of this this these two people the king of wands and the king of pentacles they are what was in the way of your happiness so if you're having too many options I feel like you being in this position of stagnancy was because of the fact that you weren't able to narrow down, you know, who you wanted in your life. But there are two people here that are guarding in this depiction. They're, they are guarding um, some type of building, which lets me know that they created some type of boundaries or blocks in your situation. These could be people that are just jealous, jealous co-workers, jealous um, family members, people that are in your way that don't want you to be happy they want to cause you burdens they want you to be stressed out they don't want you to find you know contentment and i feel like you really had to take control of the situation by focusing solely on yourself loving yourself self-care self-love self-admiration and if you're not in this energy yet where you're just solely focusing on you i feel like something's about to happen where there's a lot of hands involved there's a lot of deception lying um, conniving energy and it's going to force you to focus the energy back on yourself and I feel like it's the universe's way of getting your attention because you may be like focused on love or things that you know aren't really to your benefit right now and in order for spirit to get your attention they have to kind of let other people on the outside of you deceive you so that you can see where your intentions are supposed to be um, let's see let's get another deck so we can get a deeper understanding of what's going on why is this four of pentacles here? What are you holding on to? Four of pentacles is here because of a leap of faith. There's going to be some type of new beginning that's offered to you if it hasn't been done so already. But in order to have this new start, you're going to have to hold back from a lot of people. One, two, three, four. Four people in particular that some of you are going to have to remove from your circle if you haven't done so already because these people can't be trusted. All of them have their back turned towards you. All of them. What, what are the odds of that? The Page of Pentacles, if that's someone that you're dealing with as well. Three to four people around you have their back turned, and it's because they can't be trusted. They don't have your best interest at heart. 
um, they're hindering you as far as your growth and your ascension process. And the universe is going to bring this to your attention in the form of like betrayal, deception. And in order for that to happen, you're going to have to retract some type of offer. With the Nine of Wands, this is the energy of feeling wounded. Um, really persevere right now. If there's something that you're going through that you feel like you're just about to give up or you don't have that much strength left in you to keep going, this is a sign that you're almost there. You just got to keep pushing yourself a little bit more. And with the Nines, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So that's the step right before the completion. So things right now are probably going to be the most difficult as far as persevering and pushing yourself forward. Um, you're going to be dealing with a lot of conflict. Just be aware of that. Protect yourself. If you have any protection crystals, such as like black tourmaline, tiger's eye, black obsidian, anything um, that has to do with grounding or protection, I would wear it, especially around this week. Because someone here is juggling. With the emperor, there's someone here that you look up to that should be having, you know, you're back in some type of way, and this person is juggling. They're imbalanced in their own way. And I feel like because they're imbalanced, they're unable to see things from a clear perspective. And with the Five of Cups, you're feeling regretful over something that didn't work out. And yes, you are in this grieving energy, but this is just about to change. It could be in a matter of a month to two months. There's something new that's going to be offered to you. Like I said, there's a new start here being available, and I see it here again with this Ace of Pentacles. So this tells me it could be anything from a new relationship, new job, new car, new house, anything new that has abundance and prosperity tied to it. You may have to turn your back on a lot of people. Um, focus on you. Focus on your stability. Focus on your foundation. Your... Um, your happy home life, your stability, and you will attract someone to you that will be able to help you along the way because I feel like some of you have a lot of burdens that you are carrying on your back. And this person that's going to help you, it's going to be someone that's very stable, someone that you could see yourself having a future with. But in order to do that, you have to get out of this conundrum. And look, we have another nine. So nine of pentacles, nine of swords, and nine of wands. You are in the period of stress. You're going to be feeling tied up, feeling unstable, you're going to be in your head a lot, having a lot of anxiety, not really sleeping well. Some of you aren't going to eat well either. And it's because the universe is trying to push you into a period where you're feeling uncomfortable so that you can move. Some of us, um, like me, I'm a Libra and I work better under pressure for some odd reason. So I feel like that's kind of what it is. The universe is trying to push you out of this environment where you're not being, you know, cherished. You're not being loved. You're not being appreciated into somewhere where... Somewhere where you feel validated, where you feel like you're honored, where you feel like you're getting that recognition you deserve. This king of wands, this person that you were dealing with that is up to no good at this time, this person um, adds on to your instability. They are very unstable themselves, so dealing with this person or having them around you is just going to naturally bring your vibration down. So this king of wands doesn't want you to be stable, and they also don't want you to walk away. So this king of wands could be someone who's an ex, could be someone that you have children with, because the page of pentacles is lined up right on top of it. But with the eight of cups, you're being asked to walk away from this person. You're being asked to stop investing any time, energy, and effort into whoever this king of wands may be in your life, because they're not going to give you, you're not going to get what you want out of this situation. The two people in your life, two to three people in your life are purposely putting blocks and yeah, they're purposely putting blockades in your, your path that because they don't want you to progress. They don't want you to rise. And you are meant for great things. With the death card, some of you are dealing with the Scorpio. But things in your life are in the process of changing whether you want them to or not. And it's going to affect your stability. So the best thing that you can do is work on your financial situation. Work on, you know, getting a be better paying job if that's what it is that you need in order to feel more comfortable. But yeah, focus on you and your stability because everything else right now doesn't deserve your time. And with this King of Pentacles, there's some type of shakeup in the foundation that's coming up. That's why I'm saying whatever this warning is, it hasn't happened for some of you. But it's only a matter of time before the universe is trying to shake you up in some sort of way. Whether it's you and your partner, if you are already in a relationship, something's coming that's kind of going to throw both of you like a wrench. And it's... Because of the fact that they want you to get out of the period of feeling comfortable or stagnant so that something new could come in, some type of new offer, new relationship, new job, new car for some of you that are single. Um, but yeah, so let me get you some fairy cards to see what you should be focusing on as far as this week. 
follow your dreams. Um, so if some of you have dreams of, you know, being an entrepreneur, having your own business, Follow your dreams, put work and effort into whatever it is that you believe in, because that's the only way that it's going to progress. You have to meet the universe halfway. You can't just say, this is what I want to do and not take any steps to implement that. And romantic partner, that's what I'm saying. I saw this king of pentacles here and I feel like this person is tied to this new offer. So if you have something around you or you have someone around you that you've been dealing with that's very unstable, this person's up to no good. They could have other partners outside of you because the king of wands on this side is someone that is a liar, a cheater, a womanizer, or a manizer, if it's a woman. But you have the opportunity to have something new come in. This romantic partner will be someone that's stable, someone that, you know, will give you that stability and that happy home life that you're looking for. It's a matter of just getting over the past, um, getting rid of baggage, and moving away from people, situations that no longer serve you. And the last card here is rise above problems. Oh my gosh. Basically just reiterating what I just said. Rise above any issues that you may encounter and you have, you have good things coming to you. Just be patient. If that's the end of your reading. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.